Hello, Gold viewers. I'm Fiona Lang Sharp, IPCLC and Public Relations Manager and MC for the Gold Midwifery Online Conference 2015. Welcome to my interview with Dr. Sarah Buckley. I'm very excited that we have Dr. Sarah Buckley speaking for us at the Gold Midwifery Online Conference, and she'll be speaking on hormonal physiology of childbearing. Welcome, Sarah. It's great to have you with us. How are you doing today? Yeah, thank you. It's fantastic. Great. Great to be here. Thank you. So I just have a few questions uh, for you, and I'm going to start right away here. So tell me a little bit about your presentation. What are the key issues that you will be addressing in the presentation as a re relevant to midwifery care? So the presentation is based on my report, Hormonal Physiology of Childbearing, that's just come out last month. And what the hormonal physiology of childbearing um, is, is shows in relation to midwifery care is really the, the way that women and babies' bodies are superbly designed, as I sometimes say, for the processes of labour and birth and how the hormonal physiology unfolds. So in this presentation in particular, we're looking at what we call the beneficial hormonal physiology pathway or also called the healthy birth pathway. So how will the preparations before labour and birth lead into and optimise the processes of labour and birth and also optimise um, outcomes in the longer term, particularly breastfeeding and attachment. So very relevant to midwifery care because we're talking about normal birth, about physiologic birth, about observations and sort of care that midwives give and how that promotes lifelong health and well-being for mothers and babies. Well, that's fantastic, Sarah, and I'm very excited to hear um, more in your presentation after reading um, your amazing report. So can you tell me, how does an understanding of the hormonal physiology of childbearing help midwives to support women in their care? Well, what, what the, this, the part of the report that this um, lecture is focused on, as I said, is the healthy birth pathway, the hormone, beneficial hormonal physiology pathway. So really what, what um, the key information for midwives is really how to keep women on that pathway, how we um, help women to optimise all of these processes before, even before labour and birth start, and then through labour and birth, and then subsequently after labour and birth. And there's many ways or many things that midwives ordinarily do that you probably don't even know that you're doing that actually optimize all these processes for mother and baby, which is why midwifery care has such great outcomes. Well, that sounds fantastic. Sounds like we're going to hear more about the amplification of what it really looks like at the bare bones level, so I'm, I'm looking forward to that. And so lastly, what will you be sharing about supporting childbearing women in situations where maternity care interventions are needed? Well, that's a great question because the focus of the report is obviously on normal physiology, but we also appreciate there's times when interventions are really required for mothers and babies for their health and well-being and even survival. So what we say is that the more physiology we can add at any situation as safely and as safely as possible, then um, the better the outcome is going to be for mother and baby. So we do talk about, particularly in this lecture, we're talking about scheduled birth, about induction and pre-labor cesarean, because obviously they're going to have an impact on all the healthy birth pathway and their preparations before labour and birth and even the processes of labour and birth. So we're going to be talking about how we can optimise physiology for mothers and babies in those situations. Wow. Well, I'm already so excited. I want to hear it right now. But I know I, like everyone else, needs to be a little bit patient, um, but not for too long. We'll be looking forward to hearing you on February 23rd um, at our midwifery conference. Well, sir, we have run out of time today, but I really appreciate you sitting down with me today and chatting a little bit about your hormonal physiology of childbearing presentation. Thank you again for being with us, and thanks to all of you for listening. It's been a pleasure, and we look forward to chatting with you more again soon. Thank you for now. Bye-bye. Thanks so much, Fiona.